Argo is way less accurate than you were led to believe. Ben Affleck's Argo, the 2013 Academy Award winner for Best Picture, claims to be based on a true story, but with a storyline that seemingly could only have come from Hollywood. The CIA sets up a phony film production company, and, under the pretense of filming Argo, a science fantasy adventure, make their way into a volatile Iran to free six U.S. embassy staff in 1979. And against all odds, it works. Seriously. Yep. Just like it did in real life, more or less. But just how much more, or less, accurate is the recounting of events in Argo? What happened to the Argo hostages? On November 4, 1979, Islamist students stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, Iran, taking most of the American embassy personnel hostage to demand the return of the Shah from the U.S., with most being the operative word. Six diplomats managed to escape with Mark Lijek, with one of the six escapees, citing how realistically Argo captures the moment. It was almost the first time I'd thought deeply about what it must have been like for the 50 or so Americans in the main building. Those scenes were quite difficult to watch. It's after the scene that Argo starts taking creative liberties, as Lijek recalls that the escapees himself, Coro Lijek, Bob Anders, Lee Schatz, and Joe and Kathy Stafford didn't all end up at Canadian Ambassador Ken Taylor's home but were, rather, split between the Taylor home and the home of another Canadian official, John Sheardown. Nor were they in lockdown, as Sheardown's home had an interior courtyard where they could wander around, Lijek adds that it is true we had little to do except read books and play Scrabble. We drank quite a lot too. The plan to get them out, as outlandish as it was, is mirrored quite accurately in the film. CIA officer Tony Mendez, Ben Affleck, came up with the idea to pass the six Americans off as a Canadian film crew and reached out to Hollywood makeup artist and CIA contractor John Chambers, John Goodman. A quick aside, in the movie, Mendez is inspired by watching Battle for the Planet of the Apes, and although nothing is denying that account, there's nothing that verifies it either. The connection to Planet of the Apes lies with Chambers, who produced the masks for the first film, and one more quick aside, Lester Siegel, played by Alan Arkin, is not a real person, but a composite of several people. The pieces put in place to sell the ruse to the Iranians left no detail unturned. A fake movie production company, Studio Six Productions, six Americans, clever, set up offices on an old Columbia studio lot, had business cards created with the Studio Six Productions logo and a phone number that was rooted to those in on the plan, think true lies. They even set up script readings, there was an actual script for Argo sitting in a slush file, perfect, thanks to the setting requiring a desert. Trade ads went out to the press, with papers like The Hollywood Reporter and The Daily Variety inadvertently aiding the cause without knowing anything about its real intent. The CIA account goes on to state that the planning was so detailed that actual producers, including Steven Spielberg, sent in film proposals.